Sarah. That was like, nice. Sarah. That was like, nice. Sister Hood. Sister Yeah, I love, love that song. I'm always so very like uh, emotionally pulled into her music, oh, yeah. and I think it's just that gypsy spirit kind of thing. You know, not everybody makes music that relates to me because That's... I'm weird. Like I'm not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's you know true. what I mean? And you have to find weird music just yeah. because everything else you're just like, I don't know. It's uh, true. And I think that's super important, like with the album that I've been working on for like the last two years, actually. Um, I am being super anal about it because I feel like I am talking about and for a certain demographic of women who are my gypsies, my witches, my freedom fighters, my spiritual leaders, my master yeah. teachers, my healers, like, mm -hmm. and it's a for a certain type of people. So Gypsy Land, the album is taking so long to um, come out because I'm like super, 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 super tying into that energy space yeah. and like making music for someone like you. Mm -hmm. And so it's so happy. I'm just so happy to hear that come back. And I'm yeah. like, people get it. It's so That's true. So it's, it's so awesome. Wow. I'm actually like, you know, kind of getting to know someone. And I was like, I have to make you a playlist of mm. like all the songs that I feel represent me because I think in music and music mm. is such a big part of my life. I love so that. Like, I listen to music like I'm a very yeah. lyrical person. I listen to lyrics mm -hmm. a lot more than beat because okay. I'm a writer and lyrics are important. So a lot of the music that I listen to has to be very relatable. And that said, your music is very relatable. So I'm like, yes, I can find, you find a little home. That's you know what I mean? In people's art. That's so beautiful. You find a home in people's art. That's beautiful. And talking about a great writer, who wrote the most amazing press release for Knives? This woman right here. <laughs> If you got that email, ladies and gentlemen, oh, straight I mean, to the point. The last video you saw of us, we were talking about business. So I'll just throw in there, like yeah. when you work for yourself, you have to have many hustles. <laughs> yes. I will ghostwrite for people. I will write all kinds mm -hmm. of shit. Use my She's writing amazing skills. writer. And like my way with words to make a little bit of money. And I read tarot and I also dance and I'll teach dance and I do everything that I can do because... You know, the magician in me. I gotta use it. Oh, all those like jack of all trades, all those trades. You can call us the Jackies of them. Okay? It keeps me self employed. Hello, tying it back to that small business. When you know you're creative and you wear several hats, go ahead and wear them and don't be afraid to. And I think that's another stereotype that people feel like when you're a creative and let's say you do more than one things you're automatically not a master of any and i'm here to say my that mother called i'm me a master, master of all <laughs> hello master of all yes. yeah yes. i want to give another shout out to my friend queenja another houstonian i love houston women houston so, like, women rock I'm i heard some, i was laughing because um i was on facebook and and this kid i know who t he's not a kid he's a grown man but he's young young and um his him and his friends were commenting about Houston women and how he said the best looking women and uh -huh, he was the most uh -huh. beautiful and I was it's like, true yeah. it's really true it's shout out to Houston Texas shout out to Houston all the women out there in Houston if you're shopping in a gallery right now go ahead with your maxi dress and your auto shoes and your auto like, shoes like, jumping, like, out, your car, jumping out your car jumping out your car going back to your own apartment I'm into it Houston I love women it. are the no, best I, I grew up in Houston so I, I am that say, woman. H -town, <laughs> I am that woman. <laughs> like, I got on my maxi dress right now. Hey! <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> that's Girl. like Queendra, my friend Queendra. Mm -hmm. She has a business queen. Well, her brand is Queen of All Trades. Oh, and like I love, love that. that because I've always joked with her. We went to another friend I've had since middle school. Right. Okay, I've had her since middle school. We were very close, and she does couponing. She teaches couponing classes. You will. She Moving is quick class. to throw. What's up. that number? <laughs> I know, right? I gonna need to connect y'all. Like mm -hmm. she's quick to throw up a living social deal. She has done everything from run spas to do taxes to do everything. She ties into the last video love and it. this video because she's a great friend. When yeah. I started doing my business, she when she started watching our videos, she called me one morning and was like, 
put a living social deal up right now. This is what you do. You need to call IRS. You need to get your EIN number. You need to do that. Mm -hmm. And like, that is friendship. That yep. is support. That is somebody like Gotta have making it. sure that you're being pushed forward. And you're going to be the best to you. And well, that's a, sharing knowledge and sharing friendships knowledge. and sisterhood. Don't keep, Don't keep it to yourself. to yourself. I'm not keeping these to myself right now. I'm telling the whole world. Mm -hmm. Or the 10 people who want to watch this YouTube video. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, so many people will watch this yes. because... We're going to like... I think people need to... What I love about YouTube and what I love about my videos like this is that there are so many women that are like us and they might feel like they're a weirdo because you know we're we are it weirdos we own our weird, weird, but weird even if it's only 162,000 people it's like wow there's 162,000 people yeah. in this country yeah. that think the way that I think that yeah. feel the way that I feel yeah. that are sitting at home right now going oh my god yes what you did right you know what I mean like that's all yeah. I feel. like oh my gosh mm -hmm. and because I do it I mm -hmm. do it, and that's why I'm inspired to put out these videos. Cause yeah. you know, I, I watch other people's videos, and I'm like, ah, oh, that is amazing. Yeah, Julesy. So do you watch Julesy? No. She's um, Julesy. she was a natural hair blogger, but then she became just an all-out like lifestyle blogger, and mm. she does like really, really good videos. And her whole brand is about like the smart brown girl. So if you hashtag smart brown girl, you'll see her videos. Hashtag and I'm totally shouting her because she's amazing hey girl she was doing Houston what she's now doing. she used to live in brooklyn but i think she's from i, I can't say where she's from dc hmm. or something like that's that that's awesome but, um, no, shout out to you girl shout out to she's you amazing and she's all about the smart brown girl and all mm -hmm. about sisterhood and all about camaraderie and all the things that we're talking about so i think she's a great plug into this video and i also like that i'm shouting out women in this video hello that wasn't a plan hey but talk about a thing shout out women hi women go girls I love rock it. it out shout out to azizi umi and marie moo moo marie yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Umi and Moo Marie for coming out to this video and showing out. And y'all are my I'm sisters for like my more amazing. sisters. Amazing, beautiful. Women. And we came together and like yeah. did the art direction. And like my friend is easy. She came in with the clothes. Like it was so in house. Like everything was like synergy. And like the see the completion of the video come together and come to life was just like. That's right. That was sisterhood. It's synergy. Yeah. And them coming to yeah, and we, us oh, coming yes. together. I was about to say a shout out to Brooke White who will be editing this video. And she how can we forget about her? Her. I wasn't gonna forget because I will just go into like all that. Stop it. We have Brooke right here. We should put her face. We you should. Right? Brooke, Brooke, put so your do face in that part. Do right here. Yeah, yeah. Put you up there. <laughs> She's dope. And speaking of her, like, she's also somebody who's heavily influenced by Marie Laveau. Like, she really? put up this really dope photo recently where it looks like her eyes are rolling back of her head and it's just like, it's dope. And like, we're each other's muses. That's beautiful. And I like being the muse of another woman. And Me too. It's, it's so great. awesome. We're great. That is, that's powerful. That synergy is like very, very, very powerful mm -hmm. because it takes you know, it takes a lot of courage and a lot of self-confidence to be able to commend or promote or to see a, another woman in a muse. You know, they say, women well, only cocky. You're stuck up. You're this. I competition, think I'm better. Competition. competition. I'm Why better. I'm competition? better. Why? Why? For what? Oh, hello. We are all beautiful. Like, beautiful. Beautiful. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. but, okay, let's talk about that because that's a, oh, my vapor rose is all in the background. I'm a pothead, so you know that about me now. Maybe you got to deal with that knowledge. That is for real. I'm a stoner. That's a thing. That is Shout out to life. Colorado. <laughs> Shout out. I will be doing all kinds of things talking about Colorado and talking about marijuana. And New York is getting that shit together. Do it. Only reason I'm saying that is because, yeah. like, honestly, they know we all got it in our house. That's why they decriminalized it. So, yeah. No flex. Wait, game. that's really about to happen in New York? Well, we have medical now. Oh, we do? We do. But I didn't know that. Good. I didn't know that at all. I had no oh, yeah, idea. Yeah, so when you criminalize, you can get caught with 25 grams or something of ticket. 
Hundred dollar fine. That is so good to know. Yeah, absolutely. That's so crazy. The more you know. Don't ah! let these fuck ass pop. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. But yeah. So that. But <laughs> that's another thing. Like I have like a lot of amazing, beautiful, smart, driven women who also <laughs> smoke weed in my life, and yeah. it's like yeah. you in this. So day, it's a great time to be alive because I feel like a lot of women are breaking out of like stereotypes of what. Mm -hmm women are and you're finding the camaraderie that you want in sisterhood and you don't have to be friends with guys just to get that i'm sure there's a point in time where like as a girl who's regularly smoked pot i would, probably would have had to hang out with dudes mm. because a lot of women weren't engaging in that lifestyle and behavior gotcha you know what i mean so now i'm like a full ass adult and marijuana is a lot more regulated and a lot more people are comfortable like putting that behind their you know selves and saying and being out with it and, and not being like, afraid and not being so, afraid yeah, yeah but i didn't smoke when i was like a teenager and stuff anyway i really I, yeah no i didn't smoke until i was 26. look so, at that yeah that is pretty that's good that's good but then that's bad but that's good <laughs> that's good i wish <laughs> i could say that are. i started at that age yeah. oh gee i know i had a friend who started in I will keep her anonymous, but I have a friend who started at 11, so. Oh, really? I have a lot of friends who started at like 11 to 13. That's okay. like a different topic and that. different situation, but like, Next yo, it's on. real. Is it? <laughs> Having that camaraderie in that and just the different things that like we are aware of. Me and Brooke are so close because we can work together and we can, so we have the same crazy ass, mm -hmm. weird ass interests. She's interested in tarot. She's interested in magic. She's interested in music and culture and art. She she draws, I write. Mm. Perfect setup to start a magazine and that's what that's we're doing. Shout out, Shout out to Voodoo Magazine. Hello. Homemade. Woman and sisterhood and supported. Okay, can we go there then? Yeah. Women need to support other, other small women businesses. Yeah, absolutely. Don't you want to see you that? I, I mean, I see it. But I'm a jewelry designer. And when I first started making jewelry, I can remember it went from, oh my God, she's awesome. She makes amazing jewelry. Oh my God, I love it. I can wait a minute. I can do that. I can make my own jewelry. Yeah. And it got really catty. And I, I always wondered what happened and why did it become from, oh, I love that. That's 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 amazing. And then it's like, oh, as a matter of fact, I can do it too. And that's just that catty yeah. nature that it's, it's it's odd yeah it's, it's so it's, odd it's really well you don't have to be competition you can just be two people that do the same thing right and yeah. support each other in that there's always gonna be room for uh, everyone yeah. if everybody was doing their craft there would be millions of like pieces yeah. of jewelry there would be millions of cookies mm -hmm. and restaurants and whatever but you yeah. know what that means that we would just all have access to so much yeah that's all that means. It doesn't mean, but you know, in a capitalist driven place, especially one where you've been made to feel that like, if you're not at the top, you're not worthy. Mm. I've, I just, I freed myself from that kind yeah. of thinking. Yeah. When you free yourself from that kind of thinking, you free yourself up to be able to make good friendships. You free yourself up to just like nurture the types of relationships that you need yeah. because people don't see me as competition. I'm not threatening to people. That's good. I don't, I'm, I come in peace in your life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't even do shit anybody else I know does. Like, and then, and it's not that because I'm super, yeah, I am super unique, but it's because I literally utilize everything that it sheds with. My mm -hmm. shit doesn't look like anybody else's. Right. Because it's me. So even if somebody else does read tarot, I have Anais, what's up? Another, she's a, reads astrology in tarot, and I do numerology in tarot. Yeah. And we, oh, I can't wait to do that's gonna be super. She's here. She was in Queen. She's amazing. She also does astrology via email. Shout out to so you, girl. Shout out to you. I'll put. She also makes jewelry too. Hey, oh, jewelry maker, to another wish, jewelry maker. Oh, we all and we together. Yeah, I should, I should we should do this that. One. Cause y'all are both like the same kind of gypsy. Yeah, you know what I mean. I want to meet you. I want to meet you, girl. She's amazing, and I love her so much. And she gave me these candles when I needed some supplies to work with. And yeah, she's just like a I love it. And Sisterhood, womanhood. It's important. Mm. Support each other. Leave yeah. the cats alone. You don't need to be a caddy. You don't. It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't. 
want to talk about love the, the empowerment. celebrity caddy beef that's going on. There's some we drama. There's some drama. drama. Some of it I just can't with because a lot of it is with we people that ladies. I, like with, be fancy. with both sides that I appreciate. You know what I mean? Like on both sides of it. And so it's hard to watch because you're just like, no, 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 no. Don't, don't do, do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't do it. It's don't. like, no. I, I will put it like this. If you are a woman in any industry and you are of a mentorship status, be careful about speaking down on younger generations. Be careful about that. Be Don't careful. do that. It's not supportive. Even if that's how you feel, yeah. be careful about it and be careful about the way in which you do it. Because if you're not doing it constructively, then you are hurting a younger generation. Mm -hmm. And you don't have any business doing that. On the other side, if you are a younger generation in the industry, be careful. Be so careful about be like so careful. what you say about an older generation. Have that respect. And like also understand what you can learn from that person yeah. and if dialogue doesn't get negative mm -hmm. then everybody can grow from it yeah and don't think just because you're older that you can't learn from a younger person i love my younger friends i'm gonna do a video with my friend adriana she is 20 she was 24 when i met her mm -hmm. and i was almost 30 or i was you know, I was like 29, mm -hmm. and I was a little like apprehensive about befriending a 24 year old and of another ethnic background as well. Mm -hmm. You know, in the midst of the last few years of things being so heavy for black folks. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm in my all black now, because I'm like, yo, I just gotta like be this. Like, it's time for black folks to just like be black and own it. That's another conversation. That's another. But yeah. like, it's time, you know? And so, but all of that kind of made me like, guarded about making friends with this this girl but like mm -hmm. then i started making friends with her and she's just such a layered person and she's mm -hmm. so hilarious and she's so light she's just she's a light shout Always out to you light. girl shout out to you she's a makeup artist she's a singer she's a writer yes another like woman who just does, does a so lot many of things. things and she's super independent one thing that i love about her she drew me back in the girl world a little bit like when we first met like she'd have some relationship drama and i'm just like <gasps> I'm not the person to pull in. Women do not give each other love advice. Oh, I don't. I don't. I'm a kind of. Get it from your male friends. Get it from your male friends. Get it from your male friends. Because we don't know. We don't know. We go with the. We don't, we don't know. know. We think we know, but we don't, and we always project whatever the fuck we went through. Yeah. Onto the advice that we give to somebody else, it's a completely different situation. Stop. Get it from your male friends. Mm -hmm. no, I mean, I feel like I give good advice, but I just give good human advice. If you, you get relationship advice from yeah. me, know that it's gonna be. I'm gonna give you advice about you i am not gonna give you advice about him or her because i don't if they're not there in the conversation i'm gonna give you advice about being a healthy you in whatever situation you're in mm -hmm. like that is what i do but she so she and i were great because a like i got to see this young girl like she's one of those like she has the strength to love and love again and love yeah. again and love again she will fall in love get her heart broken bounce right back Two tears in a bucket, fuck it. Move on the next day. Girl, fall right back in love the yeah. next time. And I think that's beautiful. That's and beautiful. some people will be like, ah. But I'm like, no, no, no. That is strength. That is to true. love naively every time. So like give everybody, not everybody, but everyone that you are choosing to be in that intimate space with, like time. the full chance. Yeah. She gives the full chance to everybody. I learned that from her. Mm -hmm. Like that it's okay. It's okay to be hurt. And it's okay to move on and it's okay to like jump back in again and it's fun and it made my life more passionate to just like get off my own bitter shit get on the other hand shit, yeah. like i taught her how to more effectively and efficiently move the fuck on mm -hmm. because i'm older yeah and because that shit doesn't need to break you you can cry today and but like let's let's move on tomorrow what do you need to do for you Tomorrow. So, okay, I was gonna say, like, everybody knows I love Azalea Banks. I, I love her. Time. I love Azalea. Shout out to Azalea Banks. I love I don't you. Care. She, I know she's catty. Yeah. She knows she's catty. She owns she her catty. This is a part of her brand, first of all. So, y'all just gotta deal with that shit because that's a part of her brand. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I know that should be everything that I stand against. But some of her cattiness, y'all, has been justified. I'm not going to talk about that because that is the opposite of what I'm talking about. Some of it has been justified. Some of it I'm with all the way. Yeah. Some of it I am not with all the way. In her latest situation, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. On the other hand, I'm not quite with it. I'm indifferent. 
either. I'm indifferent because I'm not with the other side either. I'm not with that either. I, I'm about being my thing better, is, a better mentor to people. You are a woman. I'm sorry. I love the other woman. I this is someone I looked up to. I have your. I, I have her entire discography. You know what I mean? Like even as a singer, like when I first started performing, people will compare, and I'm like, well, that's that's that man. That is a compliment times a million. Yeah. You know. Um. But I also think that credit should be given when credit is due. And trying is not given an opportunity to actually listen. Yeah. You could say I tried, but actually from a creator Ooh, and point good. of view, yeah. like you should it shouldn't be tried. You should, you should have listened. Really listen to you. Listen, I listen to you and I dissect to you Badu mm -hmm. in so many ways, mm -hmm. with so many ears, at mm -hmm. so many times of my life. Yeah. And all of her music speaks to me differently yeah. all the time. Yep. Yeah. That is because I am listening to her. I have listened to yeah. Broke with Expensive Taste. That is um, a masterpiece. Yes. I'm sorry. Time. So I have listened That's to every problem. song on that album. I love every song on that she album. Went crazy. I really listened to it. And I've I watched her like 16 days of Azalea Banks that she did in December, like up to oh. drop. It's on YouTube. Well, I, I watched to that. Watch that. And what she went through all of her tracks and like did a little short thing about them, like one or two minutes. It's easy to watch. You really kind of learn like some of the motives behind some of the music and mm. it's a different side of her that I think people should watch. I you know what I mean? Check that out. On the other hand, like Miss Badu ain't got the best track record for like relationships with women in the industry either. Mm. You know what I mean? She doesn't. Like let's just be honest about it and call a spade a spade. I love her. But like she's honest. Yeah. She's an honest woman. Yeah. She says how she feels. She doesn't always take into account that it's gonna make someone feel bad. And that's a Shit, I yeah. get it. Yeah. You know, that's not to say that in judgment. I do say that to say you can't criticize Azalea Banks when you're talking about a woman who has also had some... There are women in this industry that have horror stories with that woman as well as with this woman. Yeah. So you're yeah. kind of talking about two people clashing that aren't that different. That aren't that different. That is perfect. That is so perfect to touch on because I do think that there's a lot of... Uh, uh, um, similarities within mm -hmm. the with the within the two women especially the fact that um they both are super creative and they they create sensitive from their about own their shit yeah and sensitive about their ooh, ooh, sensitive about their shit i'm an artist and i'm sensitive, sensitive about, about my, my shit and i'm gonna go back for it like i'm gonna go crazy i'm gonna it. put that back in your lap that's fine dude and remember we talked about the fact the the, the the fact that women can be catty yep instantly you're gonna say this is probably someone she idolizes and for someone that to hurts. you idol you're gonna hurt you're gonna hurts. rebel and the first thing that's gonna come absolutely. out your mouth is gonna be oh yeah absolutely but she that responded the way that human her. responds but the, the yeah. problem is she's been having these knee-jerk reactions a lot to a lot of people yeah she's been coming so at a she's lot of being people. really yeah so there is that like okay because when you're talking about like mentorship and stuff i think every oh brooke you might have to cut this out but i'm gonna just go ahead and say it anyway and i'm gonna leave it up to you i think every single statement she's made about ti is right and that is one thousand, one thousand percent, and that's not a right. real percentage. Don't come for me. <laughs> it is a exclamation. Mm -hmm. But she is absolutely right about every single thing that she has said about him, and I would have said it the same mm -hmm. way, especially if I was her age. Yeah. And I am someone who loved Ti at one point. I also want to clarify something because, in the interest of sisterhood, what she was saying about his wife. I feel was totally misconstrued and everybody took it at her throwing shade at his wife. But what she was saying is you're allowing reality television to make something that is a very vulnerable situation with your wife a joke, a common Why household joke. Why would you want to make your love and the mother of your child a joke? A joke. I don't care, I don't care about anything more than I care about my 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 being portrayed as a as a queen. Mm -hmm. And if you love someone and you know a king and queen relationship, you're not you're gonna you're not gonna allow them to be treated or portrayed in anything less than 
What she was saying is, you got your wife all on TV and they making, you know, like making the sounds mm -hmm. about her not being able to read. Like that's bullshit, dude. You're, You're a sellout. You're willing, you willing to sell out your wife. You're willing to sell out your kids. Mm -hmm. You're willing to sell out your family name for a dime. And every time I watch an interview with him, because I, you know, I watch interviews with these people. Yeah. And... I watched an interview with him, and his first go-to was like, I got money in the bank. Ah, mm -hmm. Talk to me when you're making this money. Because, unfortunately, you're a nigga that can buy a lot of people, and I really hate that for you. Mm -hmm. I really hate that because that gives you this false sense of, like, ownership and kingship. Yeah. And you're not responsible with it, sir. You're not a responsible black man with what you have. Bringing it back to sisterhood. Mm -hmm. T, um, Tiny? Tiny? Yeah. Best friend? So now I'm gonna allow that to go down. Ding dong's going on with my friend. Can you imagine your friend? They're like, uh uh, no, 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 where to tone, I've learned where to finesse, I've learned. Yeah. And I've also learned when to go ahead and play that card of just like, this is, <laughs> See, well, that's I how I, I feel. What I love about Azealia Banks though, is the fact that she is young, the fact that she is opinionated, mm -hmm. a fact, the fact that she is imaginative, and the fact that no, she's not gonna sit here and shut up. Nope. No matter what you can kind of see, there's like some pain, and there's some there's some, there's something she wants to be mm -hmm. heard, and yeah. I think this is the time in the industry where more artists should be more vocal more instead vocal. of being this. And we can run the details later. Me, we can have these conversations after it's said, yeah. you know. But but Speak the first your thing, your artists very passionate people for saying stuff. People yeah. are gonna say stuff. How much stupid shit have you said in your life that just mm -hmm. so happened to not be on television? You exactly. Know what I mean? Situation one, Erica okay. and Azalea, I would like for that to play out differently because I think they have a lot. So I think I wish Erica was riding for Azalea, I do, because I think that she gets it. Yeah. But like, why though? Why aren't you riding for her? Because you should get it. Like you, you've yeah. been this woman. Yeah. What I would like to see happen is both Azalea Banks and Erica Badu sit in a room together and talk it out and in the you know real don't even, don't kind even of way. Yeah. Like, and you don't even have to talk about beef. Talk about life. Talk about life. Mentorship. Talk about Sisterhood. life. Sisterhood. Like, give that uh, girl opportunity. Listen to her music. That album is really that great. great. And it shows um, uh, different elements in it. And it's, it's like not, not one is. song. I don't, is the I don't, same. Drop, I don't like She got like a, a do up song. song. Could she have a do up song. Oh my God, that shit was so good. And I, she didn't say that the, a span. The give, me a give Me a Chance was a mix of. Like early, the best of Foxy Brown, mm. and then like sp Latin music. What yeah. the like? Who's giving you that? Nobody's giving you that. Yeah. New to Beach Go Go is like yeah. our slight chance at appropriation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My favorite song is Luxury. I love Luxury. Soda. 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 <laughs> it's so good. Idol Delilah. Wait, we gonna have to get her to sit down and have a conversation about to. Terry and so tea. much. I would love to do that. You know she's witchy. And she is, and she talked about like black women and their innate witchiness. I, like, yeah. come sit down and have a conversation. More with me. sister. Cause I rep for you. I'm. Uh, with Kanye, I will be the last standing of your fans when everyone else drops <laughs> off. I'll just still be there. I'll still be there because like. I let people be imperfect. We change so much. Be passionate, have opinions, speak your mind, spread light, peace, and a good energy, good yep. karma. Yep. Um, but educate. Yep. Educate, educate, educate. And that's one thing I can say about Azalea Banks is I I think she's very wise in her beyond time her and beyond her years. And I think that the reason why she's so passionate is because she has a message. She does. She has a message. And if you listen to that message and can don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know, yeah, what I mean? like, yeah. take the bathwater out and like, hell, make a video, make a statement, tell her when she's fucking up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? If she's fucking up, but do it out of love. Cause like yeah. she's the type of person that you do not want to see fail. No. I'm sorry. It would be a travesty if she uh -uh. failed. Cause she, she is not cut from the same machine 
clock. When her label wasn't doing what they needed to do, she went out, she scoured the internet, she found producers, she Tyra got back to we together. talked about at our last video. She's a business that good internet. She everything in her power to go ahead and get her album done and out there. And she didn't sit around complaining about not having the support. She just did it. And, and so to let to break that person down, I think will be a fuck up on American society. Yeah, I think she's the anti-hero, and we love anti-heroes. If you have a yes friend, run, 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 run. You yes friends wrong. are your number one enemy. I'm they telling are. you this. This is the 48 laws of power. This is true. <laughs> run. You don't need a yes friend. That's what knives is about. Yeah. You don't need these. Don't. Mm -mm. No, mm -hmm. you need somebody. Because you can be your own worst enemy. And your friends should want to fight your enemies. Yeah. Even if that enemy is you. Yep. Right? This is great. I think so, too. Yeah. It's, it's women relevant. right now. It's relevant. Yeah. It's super relevant. So, love your sisters. Love your friends. Yes. Support. Yeah. Sisterhood is important. Sisterhood is important. And yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. We will see you next time. I think we got another like couple videos. Mm -hmm. I have a residency now. I'm staying yeah, should for be a while. around. Should be around. <laughs> you know what I mean? That'll be other people too. But like, you'll probably see more more J free because she's free like me. Oh so, yeah, get you yeah. some friends, girl. Get you some friends. All right, be women. And I'm gonna write all the women that I talked about in this video, or Brooke's gonna do it, cause she's awesome and she's editing. Hey Brooks, you are awesome. Know what I'm doing. So she's Facebook gonna message me. Put all the, like, we're gonna do some credits or something. Yeah, and we're talk up. about everyone I give a shout out to, you, so that you know where to find mm -hmm. their videos or their music or whatever like that, because I think they're important women, and yep. I think that you would be better to know who they were. Yep. Ciao. Bye.